Welcome everybody to the fifth tutorial on Siebel installation. Uh, we saw in the previous tutorial how to install Siebel with client and how to configure it on IE. But in case you want to uh, work with Siebel using, for example, uh, Chrome, is it work? Let me just test it. You can see here this page at localhost say you very simple high interactive framework for IE required for use this uh, this civil application. So there's no ActiveX support here. So the application might crash. So as you can see here we couldn't log in because um, the system doesn't meet our requirement. In order to fix this problem and make um, Siebel support for Chrome or Firefox, you have to install uh, the patch or the patch for uh, Siebel. So if you go to client installation, you're going to see 8.1110. This is the patch for Oracle Siebel. So this is support the Open UI. Open UI makes uh, Siebel web client works for Firefox using web open up UI technology. So in order to make that happen, you need to install this patch, 8.1.1.10. So you can go to the patch and install uh, to this model or module. You can go to compatibility, uh, click OK. The module, run as administrator, click Yes. And you're going to see here we have Oracle installer. We need to install this patch into our existing uh, Oracle web client uh, 8.1.1. So in order to make this happen, you need to run the Oracle installer or installer and uh, run it as administrator. Click next. Uh, we have to choose the current version of Oracle uh, Siebel. So, if you remember, we got Siebel 8 Home X, and this is, is our path. Uh, I'm just going to click Next. Here, they require entering an email address. I'm just going to type my email address, and just type Next. All right, just type Next. And this is going to uh, require us to a few uh, wizards, screens. Just click next here, and you can see here we are installing the, the patch for Oracle. So it says here, for more information, click retry, click continue the default value, and go on. Um, click cancel to stop the installation. It say, Error in execution of script. I'm just gonna click retry, retry, retry. So we got a problem. Maybe because I'm opening the um, this file, so let me just try to close it and try to retry again. So you can find the log of this file into Cybergram Files Oracle. Mm, let me just figure out what is the problem. Please try again. Or let me just continue. Just continue. Maybe it's, um, I don't know, just for the first time, but it seems it's normal. So you can see we got all these problems. Um, I guess because I don't know, but it seems it's quite good because some some of the files maybe are open in somehow. But let me just figure out. At the end we gotta see if it works or not. So we get a correct check here. The first thing is bad first patch is installed correctly. We copying the other files. Well, we can see here the batch is successfully installed. 
Uh, we need to do some configuration in order to enable Open UI. So uh, you need to go again to Siebel. Um, we just gonna go to C Siebel 8.1 X. I'm gonna go bin ENU and we go to ENU. We're gonna find C dot com. And you need to find something called about UI, something talking about UI, Infra UI framework. Here we need to add two things. First thing we need to enable, uh, enable open UI by setting it into true here. And also we need to enable Uh, something called mobile application. So we need to enable mobile application. Set it to equal to true. So these are the two things that we need to enable right now in order to make uh, Oracle Cebo works for us. So if you want Chrome, you're gonna see, set it as default. Yeah, I'm gonna set it as default and I need to go I need to go to all programs to EC run it as administrator click yes and here just gonna type as admin as admin and I'm gonna run this using the default browser so it might run in IE but I just gonna copy the link into Chrome to make sure that OpenUI work for us. It's right now it's enabled. Even if we are on IE, it should work. Um, for default browser, you can see it. It works right now. We are using Oracle Web Client using OpenIE. If you copy the link, go to Chrome again. Uh, paste the link here in localhost. You're gonna see we are still running uh, using open UI mode. So we are not using uh, active X component. We here running on HTML5 and JavaScript application using open UI. So this is pretty much what is the big difference between uh, OpenUI and ActiveX? I prefer to use um, not OpenUI. I prefer to use uh, Inner Explorer. So I'm just going to turn off OpenUI and mobile application by clicking Save. Um, exit the browser and exit the browser here. All right, make sure your Inner Explorer settings are set to the default configuration. I'm not one. I don't. I don't want to use 64 bit. I just want to use 32. And this is yes. I want to make it default. But let me just make the configuration here by going to um, make sure about the configuration. Restrict. Okay, seems good. Default level. No, make it medium. Local host is checked. Fine. Click low. Apply. Okay. And right now we just gonna back to the um, ActiveX uh, UI. So you need to go to Siebel Com type communication or e communication. I have a lot of files here. Actually, e communication. Okay, um, type as admin, s admin, and choose connect to sample. So we gotta connect to, we got this old message, remember? This is an old message. So we saw, we solved this problem. Um, we saw, we solved this problem using, um, E communication here, e communication, go properties. If you remember, here we solve this 
using uh, the extension that we choose. Let me just see. This is go notepad type paste. All right, we are running an Explorer. Uh, let me just try to remove the whole open UI from here. I don't need to use it anymore. Save it. Go e communication. Try running as a mystery again. S admin. S admin. Try to connect to sample. Click OK. We're trying to connect. All right, right now we're running. We're back to the uh, ActiveX mode. And as you can see here, we saw in this video how to uh, change into OBI mode to support Chrome and Firefox and how to cancel out that and back to Inner Explorer. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm also all the time with you. Uh, for my team W, consult me. I thank you for joining us in this video. And see you in the next video. We're going to cover uh, 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 a new topic on how to install Oracle Siebel tools and work with it uh, using uh, uh, Microsoft Windows 7. Uh, so thank you again, guys, for watching. And see you in the next video about installing Oracle Siebel tools. Thank you.